How's it going guys? Good morning. Last night was uh, pretty uneventful. Uh, one single snake. <laughs> so, but slept in the back of my car. I, uh, see, I'll show you guys. I put the seats down, made a little bit of room right there, and slept pretty good. So, it wasn't bad. But anyway, um, I'm gonna hit a private property right now. Holy crap, look at this. The size of that tarantula hawk. Woo. Too bad it's dead. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna hit that <clears throat> private property, flip, see what we find. Hopefully we'll find some snakes. And then, uh, I really don't know what I'm gonna do tonight. It just depends on what the weather does, but I'll keep you guys updated. All right, guys. We're in God's country now. Love this place. Been coming here. Right there is my lifer round-tailed horned lizard. Let's uh, let's get it. It's not gonna move because it thinks it's perfectly camouflaged. Look at that never found one myself and I was just thinking about them how cool is that let me take a few pictures guys in C2 all right got my hands on it look at that thing oh sorry sorry it is too cute Hold on, let me, there, I can show you guys, look at that thing, guys, oi, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes, and it just disappears, see, it just stops, it relies so much on its camouflage that it just stops moving. So, such a cool animal. Never found one myself. I've seen them in this property, but I lose them because they move and then they just freeze and then you lose them. Wow, but what a cool little lizard. We'll take a few more shots and uh, release this beautiful uh, animal. Hey guys, I got this uh, short line skink. Unfortunately, I got it by the tail and it dropped it. You can see how beautiful it was. But anyway, it doesn't hurt the animal. It'll regenerate it. It'll take a while and it'll take some energy, but it'll do it. And it looks like a little female. But uh, yeah, I feel bad about it. But uh, cool little critter, I'll let him go and keep herping. Hey guys, check it out. I was uh, putting the, uh, I'm sorry, hold on. I was putting the uh, the short line skink back and this guy just like walked up to us. Like, what's up guys? It's a little female Texas banded gecko. What a beautiful, hold on, I just wanna do a little bit of zoom in. So you guys can see, look at those eyes, guys. Just beautiful. 
And this is its habitat. This it's this is what it lives in. What a beautiful little animal. It does have a regenerated tail. It's funny we were just talking about regenerated tails. You can see how it's different from the rest. There's a line right there. Oh, sorry. And it regenerated it. Anyway, we're going to let this beautiful girl go and keep herping. Guys, check it out. He's just coming up to me. So cool. <clears throat> Probably seeing what I'm doing. I just flipped this right here. This board. That's the closest I've ever been to a roadrunner. So cool. There he goes. Look at those feathers, they're like blue and green. Anyway, let's keep herping. What a cool experience. I love it out here. Anyway, I think I'm um, done flipping. Did quite a bit of flipping and didn't turn up any snakes, but I did turn up some cool lizards, which I'm happy about. I missed the really nice uh, race runner lizard that uh, got away. But anyway, I think I'm going to check into a hotel and get a shower. What is going on, guys? It is the afternoon. I checked into... Uh to a hotel, took a good long nap, I needed it after sleeping in my car, kind of was rough, not for everybody, but uh, I'm energized, ready for the night, um, where I'm heading, they've gotten quite a bit of rain, so I'm hoping that it's a fraction better than it was yesterday. So yeah, I'm going to the prairie again, um, where I found that coach whip yesterday. Um, so like I said, yeah, hopefully it's better because after dark, I mean, I didn't see a single snake on on that road. So hopefully it's better. Um, I'm hoping it is. I'm really praying it is. Um, after this, if if it's not good. Uh, I'm gonna head north of Alpine to a particular road and hunt it. Uh, and then uh, probably hit some cuts in the Davis Mountains. And that'll probably be the night. Um, but if it's good here, I might stick around till, till uh, the cows come home. <laughs> so we'll see. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Yeah, 
guys. Look what was on my... I was inside waiting for the sun to go down. This guy was chilling on my ankle. What are you doing, dude? Let me take him off. It is prime time for hoggies. Let's see if we get lucky. Beautiful uh, sunset. Oh, I'm going to show you guys. a snake and I actually think it's a Mojave so let me get my tongs Let's see what I I had given given up and I started going faster I was like nothing's moving A Mojave. Ooh. I almost hit it, but I didn't. Nice. It's a little one. Um, yeah, maybe two years old. Very nice. Wow, it's feisty. Very nice. Well, it's a good sign. At least this guy's moving. Anyway, I'm going to get it off the road and keep herping. Take some pictures first. Alright, guys. <clears throat> we are to our destination. Uh, it took long enough. It's 12 o'clock. Um, I missed one snake on the way over here. It was right in the middle of the road, but I was going like 70 miles an hour because I hadn't seen crap uh, the whole way. So, of course, turned around and then cars were coming too. Turned around and it was gone. It looked, I don't know, it it didn't look like a milk snake. It didn't look like an Alterna. It looked like a uh, like a glossy or an Emery's rat. It was it was pretty thick bodied, so I I'm leaning towards glossy snake. But uh, we will never know. I, I looked and looked and looked. Um, but <clears throat> it is what it is. Anyway, um, apparently they've been getting a lot of rain here, so. Guys, I don't know how I saw this little thing. Little hooknose snake. Chihuahua hooknose snake. Very nice. Well, I'm happy to say that snakes are moving. I just saw a DOR Transpecos rat snake. I mean, Transpecos copperhead, sorry. This guy's very nice. These guys eat exclusively. Uh, almost exclusively the uh, centipedes out here and 
and I don't know if you'll flick your, the tongue, but I want to show you guys. See how big that tongue is? It's pretty long. Anyway, I'm going to take some pictures and let it get off the road. Oh yeah, and they fart. I don't know if you've heard it. Well, it's not farting anymore, but they do fart. Anyway, let's, let's let it go. Let's go on this way. There it goes. Cool. Well, all right, guys. It is one o'clock in the morning. I've only done one pass on this road, and I saw that uh, DOR Transpeco uh, Copperhead that I didn't show because it was a DOR. It was pretty mangled. Um, the hook nose, and then earlier I missed whatever Coley Rid that was that got off the road. Um, I'm going to do a couple more passes and see how I do. And uh, then call it a night. But I mean, snakes are not moving at the rate that I would like them to be. But um, all you can do is keep trying, keep cruising. So, uh, anyway, catch up with you guys later. Uh, yeah, 108, 78 degrees. Guys, check out this sulfugid. It's a good sized one. Wow. Very nice. It's a good sized one. But anyways, uh, let it get off the road and keep herping. Guys, not even six feet away. Big brown tarantula. Anyway, it's a male looking for a female. We'll let it get off the road. There's a little toad. Huh? Since it's kind of slow, I want to show you guys more uh, animals. Little Texas town. Small little guy. Just out foraging. I'll get it off the road and keep ripping. Alright, we got another little tub. <clears throat> This one's a red spotted toad. Haven't showed these guys in a while. So you can see why they call them red spotted toads. Not all of them, but some of them. Most of them have red spots on them. You can see them roping down on the leg. Real cool, nocturnal of course, feeding on little bugs. Um, and they're uh, widespread here in West Texas. All right, let's get it off the road and keep uh, herping. I think uh, I'm gonna call it quits here. It's two in the morning, uh, we really haven't seen much. So I'm gonna start heading back. We got a snake crossing the road. I think it's an Aatrox. Finally, it's been two hours. Check it out. Good size Aatrox. Oh, a little on the skinny side. Trucks. Hey, you're all right. You take a picture before it gets off the gets off the road, and then we'll keep herping. Guys, 
guys i was videoing i mean i was taking pictures of the atrox and look little another round tail lizard a round tail horned lizard just walking up what in the world so cool my god we'll take pictures of it let it go guys another atrox this one's a little bit more healthy but around the same size anyway i'm gonna take a few pictures and and head home i mean head to the hotel if i keep seeing snakes i'm gonna keep recording them all right and take a few voucher pictures and get going all right guys it's 3 31 in the morning uh and i don't i don't think we're gonna see anything else it's 65 degrees right now so that was it got one more night and then i'll go back to san antonio so we got one more night of hunting uh tomorrow would be the let's see tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday okay so tomorrow will be the sixth day since i tested positive for covid so i asked uh, one of my friends if he wanted to go uh herping tomorrow he's living out here um his name is jubal and uh, he said yeah uh and i said I, you know i'll wear a mask or whatever but it's my sixth day so technically i don't need to wear a mask but yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna go to the south south part of the Big Bend area. So should be fun, different species. I'm really uh, hoping to get a reticulated gecko. Uh, of course, Alterna, but uh, we'll see. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow.